Well, hello there all, my name is Kate and welcome, welcome to this channel. Today we're going to travel throughout Finland from the south all the way to the very north from Helsinki to Lapland. We're going to travel by train, that's one of my favorite ways to travel. Finland has really good trains, I really enjoy traveling by trains in Finland. We will see some of the largest cities in Finland and we're going to see some of the most beautiful nature spots in Finland as well. That's my personal list, my personal choice. It's not necessarily objective, it never is if it's your personal choice, but these are the 10 places that I loved the most after living and traveling in Finland for more than 10 years now. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the future content. So top 10 places to visit in Finland. And number one on our list, the city of Helsinki. The capital of Finland was founded by King Gustav Vasa of Sweden on June 12, 1550, when he decided to move the center of trade from Estonian city of Tallinn to the new city on the Vanta Delta. The first settlers were the Finns, who settled here on the orders of the king. Presumably they were not particularly eager to settle here, given that at the time Helsinki was no different from any other ordinary settlement, ridden by plague and poverty. Its fate as the capital of Finland was decided surprisingly enough by Russian crown in 1812, after Finland became autonomous Grand Duchy within Russia in 1809. Emperor Alexander I wanted to see the capital of Principality of Finland in Helsinki, so by his orders he moved the capital from Turku to Helsinki. At the same time the construction of new center of Helsinki began, completely transforming the face of the city. The symbol of Helsinki is the architectural complex on Senate Square, my personal favorite spot in, in Helsinki. It was designed by the German architect Karl Ludwig Engel, and in only 25 years, he erected over 30 public buildings and a number of private mansions in Helsinki, thanks to which Helsinki acquired a majestic, I would even say poetic architectural look, and in Europe became known as the white capital of the North. Today, Helsinki is truly a stunning capital with a variety of architectural styles, so it's a pleasure to simply even just walk in here. The city hosted a number of significant events, including the 1952 Summer Olympics. Helsinki is a top tourist destination in Finland, and it attracts tourists with a great number of museums, exhibitions, various musical and theater festivals, great nightlife and restaurants. Number two, Tampere. Tampere from Swedish Tamur Force is a city in southwestern Finland located by the Tamur Rapids between beautiful lakes Nasi and Pua. Tampere is Finland's second largest city and both educational and industrial center. It's a large city by Finnish standards with more than 200,000 inhabitants. Tampere, however, in spite of its size, managed to keep the charm of a beautiful town. The city center is very compact, very easy to walk in, and atmosphere is very friendly and welcoming. It's a fairly young, but a truly booming city. It was founded in 1779, so today it's barely 250 years old. It remained underdeveloped until 1821, when Tsar Alexander I of Russia encouraged its growth by granting tax-free importation of raw materials and equipment. This privilege remained in place until 1905, resulting in an industrial expansion of the city. Tama Rapids flow through the city center, forming the backdrop for old industrial buildings, now Nowadays is serving as idyllic restaurants, museums and even cinema. I love the area, it reminds me a little bit of Manchester. In fact, Finland's first electrical lights was lit here in Finlay's and Cotton Mill in Tampere. Tampere region is a birthplace of Finnish industrialism, but it also is is the theater capital. The city offers a wide variety of cultural experiences, great many festivals, concerts and theatrical plays. So it's in no way a boring city, it's super exciting, very beautiful, lots of beautiful architecture, great restaurants, a lot to entertain you, so not to be missed.
And number three, Turku. Turku is a beautiful city in the southwestern coast of Finland on the Aura River. It is the Finland's oldest city and country's first capital. Some still refer to Turku as the original capital. Turku is simply stunning. Many refer to it as the Paris of Finland. We'll tell you more in a moment about that. Turku is a stunning combination of historical buildings and modern design, stunning parks and vibrant nightlife. The key sites include Turku Castle of 13th century and Turku Cathedral of the same time period. It is not known exactly when the city received the city rights, but Pope Gregory IX first mentioned the city in 1229, which is as of today considered the founding year of Turku. Turku is considered the Paris of Finland, to return to that. The reasons behind it are the beautiful river, multiple number of bridges through across the river, and the coffee and food culture sort of similar to French, and there's even a Swedish saying, why Paris? We have Turku. Turku has also been designated as European Capital of Culture in 2011. In 1996 was declared as a Christmas city of Finland and officially Turku has been declared a food capital of Finland because it houses some of the Finland's oldest, finest restaurants and is historically famous for its fish market that takes place twice a year here. If you want to try delicacies, uh, Turku's market would probably be the best place to go. And one of my favorite delicacies is fairly simple but really tasty would be Karelin Pirka or Karelin Pie, which basically is a pie with rice and it is served uh, with egg and butter mushed together. I also add a little bit of blue cheese on top, that's just my personal thing and I love it. It's just fantastic, so definitely try it. Number four in our list, the fifth largest city in Finland in the administrative center of province of Oulu, city of Oulu. The city is located in Oulujoki River, that's where it takes its name from, in the Gulf of Bosnia. The signature drink, if anyone is interested, is Star Vodka. At the end of 15th century, Swedish King Johan III built a fortress on the island Linansari and soon the city grew around it. It became a major maritime and commercial center in Finland due to the favorable geographic position. As most of the other cities in Finland, always known for its great food, in particular I like pancakes here with cream and strawberry jam. Along with many Finnish cities, Oulu is characterized by a beautiful mixture of old and new. The contrast can be felt in the market square, we can see a lot of ultra-modern buildings with carefully preserved older buildings. Both Oulu and Helsinki are characterized by neoclassical style because they were planned by the same architect, Carl Ludwig Engel. Number five on our list, Isosuoti. Isosuoti is a nature reserve, a very, very beautiful place and also a ski resort, a proud owner of World Ski Awards for Finland's best ski resort. In winter, Isosuoti becomes a very busy ski resort and a popular tourist destination. There are 17 ideally prepared slopes that are suitable for both professionals and amateurs. However, we are here at the beginning of autumn due to the golden season known in Finland as Ruska. And Ruska is a season when the blueberries, because most of the forest floor in Finland is actually covered by blueberries and lingonberries, they turn red. So the forest floor becomes actually red in the month of October, uh, late September, early October. Summer is also a great season, time to enjoy endless days and radiant green life, berries, mushrooms, fish and other natural delicacies, not to mention the pure unrivaled pleasure of being bitten by mosquitoes all the time and occasionally horse flies. If you're not a big fan, then <laughs> be prepared to dress well and cover your body. I have a really, really good repellent that in my experience nothing really works. Um, but yeah, that's why spring and autumn are the ways to go. Isosuoti is most famous for its cycling routes and mountain biking. We, however, did lots of hiking here. We did one of the long hikes here that is 23 kilometers. Truly stunning forest, especially in the autumn. So highly recommend visiting the place. Tourist infrastructure is well developed. So it's a pleasure to travel here. Some of the great hotels are located here. So it shouldn't be a problem to find decent accommodation. 
and the height of my experience personally was seeing the reindeers by the road so one of the suggestions if you drive in the towards the north or in the north of Finland already be careful drive slowly they do tend to run on the road by the road or run over the road so um, slower drive would be recommended number six Porvo Porvo is one of my favorite small towns in Finland from the history of city, uh, it was one of the six medieval cities in Finland in which the past and the present are harmoniously intertwined. It's the second oldest city in Finland today. The city has absorbed the culture of different areas and eras, which were carefully guarded and preserved by inhabitants to this day. Porvo received the city rights in 1346, at which time it acquired the status of the important trading center. Along the so-called royal ways, kings and sovereigns, craftsmen and pilgrims traveled along the royal way, which was basically a path from Turku to Porvo to Viborg and to St. Petersburg in the 14th century. Even today Porvo preserves its commercial status because many commercial organizations and non-profit organizations are located here. Nowadays Porvo is an idyllic rare place of hospitality that is perfect for tourists from different cities of Finland and also from around the world with plenty of restaurants, coffee shops, hotels and antique stores. Before the city of Porvo acquired the status of the city, the wooden fortress was located here along the Swedes it allowed to control the trade in the river and the sea from, for many centuries. However, under pressure, Sweden was forced to give away Finland to Russia and in the beginning of 19th century the first session of Finnish government took place in the city of Porvo. I really enjoyed my trip to this town. This was my second time. The first time was in summer, the second time was in winter. Both were well worth my while. And the height of the experience was the Runeberg Turtle. A great delicacy that I would highly recommend you to try. And number seven on our list, Lapland. Lapland is a fairy tale land that I wanted to visit for a very long time, so I was very lucky that I finally was able to do that. Lapland is a harsh land of snow and one of the most unique regions in Finland. It is located mostly beyond the Arctic Circle, hence it's really cold. This is one of the 19 regions in country and the largest one in terms of territory. It has a beautiful, wild, pristine nature that attracts a great number of tourists. The administrative center of Lapland is the city of Ravanimi. In Ravanimi you can find the Santa Claus village. That is a place where Santa is. I'm not sure if he lives there, but he certainly spends a lot of time there. So the place has a lovely Christmas-like atmosphere pretty much throughout the year. So it is a fairy tale land. Number eight is the Koiteli Rapids, an outdoor recreation area located along the Kiminkijoki River, close to Oulu in Finland. It consists of small islands which divide the free-flowing river into small streams and rapids, making the area very picturesque. The rapids stretch for about three kilometers, and the rapids are some of the most impressive ones I've ever seen. The larger islands are connected by suspensions bridges, making it very, very easy to walk through the rapids. It's the area that is surrounded by beautiful forest and provides a great opportunity for fishing, canoeing, kayaking and trekking. The rocky cliffs on the shores are great places for just sitting and observing the beautiful nature. There are also several campfire sites where you can cook food and enjoy some refreshments, have a picnic. So overall it's a great area for outdoor activities. N number nine is not a particular city, but more of a cluster of towns that I really enjoy, the coastal towns of Finland. I like Kalajoki and Kokkola and many others, but in particular I wanted to take you today to Ohtakari. Ohtakari is an island in a fishing village in Kokkola district, the former municipality of Lohtaja. Ohtakari is uh, truly an old traditional Finnish village with stunning nature.
the oldest records of this village date back to 1500s. Fishermen lived here on the island during the best fishing period and the island also served as a pilot station for more than 100 years. It really is like traveling back in time. The area is absolutely stunning. The nature is indescribably beautiful, especially in the winters. You could see the sea is frozen over and it actually creates this kind of mini hills of ice that you can actually walk on. Experience was greatly intensified by the fact that we went there during the sunset and the village was just lovely. A truly traditional village in Finland, bright red colors, wooden buildings, so it was, uh, it was really impressive. And the sky is stunning, even though in the winter you don't have much of the daytime, but you have stunning sunrise moving slowly into the sunset, so the sky is beautifully pink most of the time. And closing our journey, number 10, Rahi. Rahi is a town municipality of Finland, founded by Swedish statesman and governor general of Finland, Count Per Pahi the Younger. Quite a mouthful. Uh, in 1649, the city was established and it was named after Pia Pahi, one of the best preserved 19th century wooden towns in Finland. That would be all that I wanted to share with you for this video of top 10 places to visit in Finland. Let me know in the comments below which ones you liked in particular, maybe something was particularly interesting to you if you're planning your next trip to Finland. Maybe somehow I was able to give you some useful suggestions. So let me know what you liked. If you're interested in any particular destination, uh, there are more detailed videos on the channel. Subscribe if you haven't yet, don't forget to put the like. Thank you for joining and see you soon.